stroke is a acute onset of focal neurological deficit that is decreased blood supply to the brain. It can occur either due to a clot forming in the blood vessels supplying the brain or it can be due to the rupture of the blood vessels. As a result of this decreased blood supply to the brain, there will be certain deficits. So, person will be manifesting. It can occur either due to decreased blood supply in the brain or it can be spinal cord or it can be the retina. The most common manifestation is in the brain. So, the person present with sudden onset of stroke that is weakness of one half of the body. There are two types of stroke, one is the ischemic stroke and one is the hemorrhagic stroke. Ischemic stroke accounts for 80% of the stroke and hemorrhagic stroke accounts for around 15 to 20% of the stroke. Now why a person develop ischemic stroke? Ischemic stroke occurs either due to when a large blood vessel clot is formed and then there is decreased blood supply to the brain or a clot is formed in the blood vessels of the neck which supply the brain or a clot is dislodged from the heart to the neck vessels and ultimately to the uh, ultimate supply to the brain. So, these are the reason when a person develop ischemia or decreased blood supply to the brain. Second is the hemorrhagic stroke. So, what is hemorrhagic stroke? In hemorrhagic stroke, there is because of high blood pressure, there is rupture of the blood vessels. BP becomes high and then rupture of the blood vessel and the bleeding occurs. So, there is decrease blood supply to the important part of the brain. Control of the stroke is very important and the knowledge of stroke is very important. Why it is important? Because worldwide 1 in 4 adults develop from stroke and it has been found that stroke account for about the second common cause of morbidity and mortality. Morbidity means disability and mortality means death. So, it accounts for the second most common cause of death and disability worldwide. It is found that the stroke burden is increased by 100 percent. So, as compared to the rural areas, the national average is 145 persons are affected by stroke per 1 lakh population. National average is 145 per 1 lakh population. But when we take only the rural population, it has been found that the prevalence is very much high. That is 215 persons per 1 lakh population is affected by stroke. the most common risk factor of is first is hypertension that is high blood pressure either increase of the systolic BP or diastolic BP is the most common cause of risk factor for stroke that is both ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke. Second cause is diabetic that is high blood sugar a sugar of higher range that is more than 200 or fasting of more than 126 then a person is called as diabetic and the third cause is this abnormal cholesterol level that is called as dyslipidemia. So, abnormal any fractions of the cholesterol that is either it can be LDL or the low HDL or increase in the VLDL or increase in the triglyceride or increase in the tricholesterol all total cholesterol all are risk factor for the stroke that is dyslipidemia third cause. Fourth cause is smoking. Smoking is a major cause of stroke because smoking cause uh, damage of the blood vessels and then it causes atherosclerosis and thrombus formation. It is also a risk factor for hypertension. As a result of this, a person will land up with cardioembolic stroke that is clot form. Heart is also affected and clot can get lost from the heart to the brain or even the blood vessels of the brain can be affected. The smoking is an important risk factor which has to be avoided. Next risk factor is alcohol. Uh, intake of alcohol is a risk factor of the stroke. Next is the unhealthy diet. Unhealthy diet means a diet does not have healthy foods that is junk foods, biryanis, ice creams are a common risk factor for the stroke. So, person should have healthy diets. The word, so, what do you understand by healthy diet? Healthy diets are the diets rich in fish uh, uh, which are rich in HDL cholesterol, fruits, vegetables and then milk products, fish mm, and less amount of intake of uh, red meat and poultry once in a week mm, and olive oil and low salt are a good diet uh, which we called as Mediterranean diet. So, healthy diet should be taken. If the unhealthy diet is there, then it is also a risk factor for the stroke. Then next is the obesity. 
that is uh, gain of weight not doing regular exercise so sedentary habit so exercise is very important so regular exercise 30 minutes in 5 days per week will control the sugar control your blood pressure reduce your weight and ultimately it uh, remove all most of the risk factors which can lead to stroke so these are the factors which can cause uh, stroke how to recognize stroke so important that is word is the fast f a s t f is for face that is weakness of the one half of the face a is for arm weakness and s for, is for speech abnormality when i am talking uh, i am not talking fluently or i am not getting words or there is no word output that is or some person have slurring or speech and t is time that is time to call the ambulance and reach the hospital this was the initially logo which was given by the world health organization to prevent the stroke that is fast now recently indian academy of neurology and stroke subsection, um, subsection has given a new logo so that that is save me s a v e that is save how to recognize stroke a simple person how can they recognize stroke at home s is for speech that is speaking difficulty same and s you can see the your relatives or your close members showing any difficulty in smiling so s cut to speech difficulty speak difficulty or smiling difficulty a is arm weakness upper limb weakness or lower limb weakness v is for visual abnormalities the person cannot see one half of the of the one half of the field he cannot see or sudden loss of vision because of decreased blood supply to the retina and then e is uh, equilibrium disturbance e is the equilibrium disturbance equilibrium disturbance balance the person is unable to walk properly so save save is a new logo to recognize stroke at home and m is minute and e is emergency m is minute why it is important to so save me new logo from the indian academy of neurology me is minute every minute counts that is for every one second decrease blood supply to the brain one second decrease blood supply to the brain there are around 32000 neuronal cells get damaged or die so imagine in one minute around 1.9 million brain cells die so every minute count so you should not delay immediately the stroke should be recognized at home and the immediately time is important you have to rush the patient to the hospital where emergency team is there ready and need to inform the uh, hospital there so that they are ready with the emergency doctor and they will keep the ct scan vacant so that immediately ct scan be, can be done if the person is having ischemic stroke medicine can be given within 4.5 hours so that the it is completely reversible stroke is completely reversible so how to prevent the stroke i have already told what are the risk factors so once a person is diagnosed with stroke regular control of blood if he is suffering from hypertension regular control of bp is very important and regular intake of medicine is important and bp should be kept less than 140 by 90 if he is diabetic regular monitoring of blood sugar should be done insulin or oral hypoglycemic agent which is prescribed by your doctor should be taken then avoid smoking avoid alcohol do healthy um, diets healthy diet should be taken avoid sedentary activity regular exercise is important avoid obesity city so that we can prevent stroke now uh, what are the treatment modalities available for the stroke but before that one should know what are certain functions of the brain so brain has frontal lobe is there parietal temporal lobe is there parietal lobe is there and hospital lobe is there each lobe has uh, some specified function for example our frontal lobe and eh? the frontal lobe is important part the both the frontal lobe is needed for the execution func function and planning function execution means to do an act to plan and act is very important part of the brain frontal lobe and in addition to that left frontal lobe is very important left frontal lobe contains the language area that is language area for the speech center is there in the left frontal lobe if if there is decreased blood supply to the left frontal lobe i cannot talk so important function of the left frontal lobe now coming to the parietal lobe right parietal lobe is responsible for construction ability of a person that is drawing 
picture and all that right parietal lobe it also has a uh, function of dressing so if the person is having decreased blood supply to the right parietal lobe then he cannot dress himself dressing apraxia he can develop now coming to the left parietal lobe left parietal lobe is responsible for calculation and it is also important for drawing agraphia if the person is having uh, the problem with the left parietal lobe he cannot do calculations bank works he cannot do and then he cannot write he cannot draw also in the left parietal lobe now coming to the temporal lobe right temporal lobe and left temporal lobe left temporal lobe what happened left side is the main dominant hemisphere of the of a person so left temporal lobe is responsible for the memory and to recognize your close members what they have told recent events is the left temporal right temporal is the important for the emotion and then important function of the right temporal lobe is recognition of the face so if a person develop Uh, decrease blood supply to the right temporal lobe the person cannot recognize the close members face that is called prosopagnosia or the person cannot um, recognize even the relatives of the face hmm? that is the right temporal lobe then coming to the occipital lobe occipital lobe is the area which is the center for vision so both occipital lobe either one occipital lobe left occipital lobe has similar function so if the person develop right side uh, occipital lobe decrease blood supply the person is unable to see one left half of the field if the left half is affected he cannot see one right half so vision the center for vision is in the occipital lobe so each part of the brain has certain specific function so to prevent so each part is very important so to prevent uh, decrease blood supply to this areas treatment is very much important so there are two modalities that is thrombo medical management where intravenous medicine is given it will act if the person comes in within window period that is 4.5 hours so if the person is as early one hour there is complete recovery if the person delays by 4 hours that is only 4.5 hours the, uh, at the end of the time there won't be much improvement so because the medicine has to be go through around one hour so as early you reach the hospital there will be complete reversal of the neurological deficit you can be discharged by the next day that is why stroke is completely reversible condition if you reach the hospital on time and in a particular area where the expert stroke team is available next is the endovascular treatment endovascular treatment when the person comes beyond 4.5 hours already brain damage has occurred as i already told if the person has decreased blood supply Uh, of one minute or above, that means one point nine million cells die. So imagine if the person comes after four point five hours, these many cells die. So the endovascular treatment, what happens? A catheter is introduced by expert uh, doctor, and then uh, uh, catheter through catheter the clot is retrieved, hmm? and stents are also passed. so that is the endovascular method of thrombolysis for that before doing we have to do ct angiogram and mr angiogram to localize where is the clot it will be big clot and this endovascular treatment can be done even up to 6 to 12 hours or it can extend up to 24 hours but the in out of this the best treatment will be within 1 to 2 hours of onset of stroke so what i have told is the when the person comes within 24 hours where we will do thrombolytic procedures if the person comes after 24 hours there is no aggressive treatment only a person will be put on antiplatelet drugs and this antiplatelet drugs are the drugs which will liquefy the blood so these are actually secondary prophylaxis medicine that are not a with primary treatment it is a secondary prophylaxis to prevent the risk of stroke recurrence in the future so here we give antiplatelet drugs then blood pressure control c a b c d antiplatelet blood pressure control cholesterol and diet can a person should have uh, should be having physiotherapy regular physiotherapy because if a person comes after 24 hours he will be having deficits neurological deficit so which which will be taken care by regular physiotherapy so uh, within 3 months of the stroke if the person developed maximum recovery around 80% after 3 months only 20% recovery occurs so we have to attack treatment of stroke as early as possible so if treatment is not given in time there will be permanent disability so a person will have either difficulty in talk 
or deviation of angle of mouth he won't be able to move his one half of the body right upper limb or lower limb or he won't be able to see one half of the field and it will uh, stay at least for three to six months and if the damage is more then it will continue for one to two years hence i request that immediate treatment should be given and the person should be rushed to the hospital as early as possible for thrombolytic that is primary treatment not for secondary treatment.